Hello everyone and welcome to I'm Top of Wellness Gaming guys. Today we're here on Pokemon Planet once again. It is time to do some more gems in the new Sinnoh region. All right. So I know a lot of people have been commenting saying you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. But it's cool, man. You can do it however you want to as long as you can win. Um, I had no problem with the last two gems. Uh, you doing it the method I'm doing it with. Uh, if I get to Elite Four, I need to change up. We'll see what happens. All right. So I uh, guess the next gem is going. I'm pretty sure I remember it correctly. We're in Eterna City. The next gem is not in Celeste, not in whatever town that is, because we got to go all the way down to or not not Orberg City. We go down and then take a right over to Hearthome City, and that's not even where the next gem is, because we got to go on up over to Cel Cel I don't know the name of that town there. We got to go up past that too, and then over to the right to Veilstone City. So Veilstone City has our next gem in it. Pretty sure it's a fighting top gem. Has Lucario, if I remember correctly, um, but. The the center region has been treating me pretty good so far, so hopefully we won't have any problem with uh, anything else so far. I hope Gyarados or Dragonaut can uh, do some work in this next couple gems. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. But maybe we can keep Kingdra in as well. That'd be cool too. Okay, I don't know about this whole area here. Okay, there was a Bach path up there. Can I not ride the Bach path? I didn't see that. Okay, yeah. I thought this was a building. I thought it was a building, but it's not a building. <laughs> it looks like a building from up there. Um, I wonder if you can catch Gibble in there, like in the actual Pokemon game. That'd be pretty cool to find out if that's true or not. Alrighty then, on the road again. And I can't wait to be on the road again. Going places me and Gyarados have never seen. And I can't wait to be on the road again. Okay, I guess this just goes back down there, I would assume. So, this is a pretty cool river. Can I fish off of this? Yeah, you'd be facing the water. Too high, I guess. Too high off the cliff. Can't, can't fish off this cliff. Alrighty then, I'm looking for some cool stuff. Looking for some cool stuff. So also guys, I'm working on a new video, um, Pokemon Planet related. It is uh, Easter eggs in Pokemon Planet. So if you guys know of any cool Easter eggs in Pokemon Planet, be sure to hit me up with any of those Easter eggs, alright? Because I need to know about those Easter eggs, man, uh, for this new video I'm doing. Alrighty then, hey, there's some mineable rocks in here. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Everybody in here mining rocks and stuff in the new update. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. So can this guard let us pass? I don't know what's up. Sorry, but you have to have the fin badge to enter this area. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing right now. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I supposed to explore this cave? I have no idea. Greg the guy doesn't know. No, that guy has Xerneas. I don't know where Zarnia spawned. I think it was from the Easter event. I don't remember because I didn't. I don't remember playing that much. I haven't played in a little while. All right. I'm not sure if this is the correct way to go, but we will find out. On the road again. I think it is. I think the other way was like a different town area. That's how you get to that one town I said we wasn't gonna go to. But I don't know. No, they just went a circle. What was up with that? Okay, let's, there's another area I can go to over here and see what's up with that. I'm not really sure where to go. This is like completely different than my normal my normal area. All right, I need more repels. These things I feel like they last don't last as long as they normally would have lasted before. But who knows? Who knows? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Satellite radio. All right, that just leads us up here. I don't know what to do. Um. Okay, so we need the. The fin badge. Which badge would that be? Let's open the trainer card here. I was pretty sh pretty sure the next badge is the fighting top badge. But I don't know how to get there. This is how you get there in the game. This is definitely how you get there. Unless we take a different route this time. I'm not sure what the route is this time in the game. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'll let you guys know when I find something out. Okay, so apparently the fin badge is the the badge that is down here in Pastoria City. But how can you get the fin badge if it doesn't make no sense, man? So we gotta go through Mount Cornet and then over and then I don't know. But that doesn't make any sense because the fin badge is past where we were just at. Okay, so apparently I was able to go through just straight across. Unlike that in the actual game where we gotta go all the way around like this. I went through the mountain, um, like from the the, the top of Eterna City. Um, you go over to the right through the cave, a small cave, and then you end up over near Celestic Town or whatever it is. Um, but I don't know if we can make it, how, how far we can make it, if this is even the right way, but I guess you guys will find out in a minute, alright? We'll find out very soon if this is the correct way or not. 
because we gotta find that fin badge, baby. Okay, so yeah, this is Celeste Town. This is Celeste Town. Is this cave even open? I wanna go in the cave, man. What's in here? Seems like a pretty cool place. Does anything even spawn in here? No Pokemon found in the Celestic Ruins. Alright, that's pretty cool. Oh, Bob, what do you gotta say, man? Okay. I don't really care about that, dude. I don't really care about what you gotta say. All I wanna know is how I'm gonna play. I don't really know about what you gotta say. All I really wanna know is how I'm gonna play. How am I gonna get to this place, man? Come on. Looks like I gotta fight James here. Alright, so James, you're the first trainer I've had to fight in a while. Let's see, can Gyarados take out a level 80 at Lucario with an Earthquake? Let's see, okay, he can one hit at Lucario. Alright, so maybe Gyarados, see if we can just get like a couple Dragon Dances, maybe even like one or two, maybe we can we can figure something out. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I think I think we can use this Murgle to, to go on over on Gyarados. It seems like a pretty good plan. It seems like a pretty awesome thing. All right, Metacham is dead. We got him on top up next, and we're gonna waterfall that. Him on top has, oh man, the endeavor. Oh, it failed. Thank the Lord for that. Don't have to use any potions on this trip. Don't want to, have to use any potions. All right, James, you had your you had your time your time to shine, but it's over now, buddy. It's over now. Oh, Arthur. He's got a Persian though. That's pretty cool. Persians all pretty cool. So, I don't know how this episode's gonna work out, man. If we're going to make it to the first gym or not, because it's going to be so long. Might have to make it into one long episode of me just traveling to the next gym. I don't know what's up. So I have to do it like one episode of me traveling, and then the next episode of me at the gym. You know how it is, guys. You know how it is. Okay, Polyrath is going to be a problem. He flinched. Hey. Hey, give us two flinches in a row. Come on, give us two flinches. He flinched again, just like I wanted to. Hey, come on. There we go. He finished him off. Thanks to the two flinches. Double flinch. Awesome. Alright, so Polyrath is definitely not a problem when it comes to fighting with Gyarados. Um, so if they have a Polyrath at the fighting gym, I think we should be fine with that. I think, we, I think we'll be able to take out the gym pretty easily. Pretty easily. I hope so anyways. Uh, we'll see how it goes. When I get there, I'll give one good try to see if, see if I can just do it on the first try. It'll be fun to just do what you can do, you know? It's always fun to just try it out. See how far you can get. I need to remember to go to Pokemon Center though, so I don't have to go all the way back. I need your mom myself to go to the Pokemon Center. All right, Don Fan, you had your time to shine. Now it's Marowak's time to whine because you're gonna be dead. There you go. You can give your skull to your child later. Luther, Luther with the Star Raptor. Luther with the Star Raptor. All right, Star Raptor, it's it's time for you to get ice fanged. I probably should have waterfalled there. Probably would have done more damage, but it's whatever, man. You missed your attack. Missed your attack, and you're a Star Raptor, dude. You're supposed to be very accurate. I don't know. Start accurate. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say there. Okay, we made it to the little part. That part was pretty small, not hard to get through. But yeah, so it's it's going about the same way it did last time. I guess we're just missing a uh, hearth home city or whatever. Instead of coming up to there, we're gonna go straight over to the other fighting gym a different way. Um, hopefully, there's a lot less. Oh, there's more trainers. No, no, anything but will. Oh no, he got me. He got me. No, Arcanine. You think you can defeat me, Arcanine? Because you can't, dude. You can't. You're too weak. You're too weak to my water. Too weak to my water. Too weak to my water. Okay, so what a fault. Does it? A Conkle Death. He flinched! My! He flinched! Alright, so there we go. Conkle Death is down. Time to continue on our journey. Time to continue on our... I don't know how much... We have any more. Okay, our repel is still good for now. Hopefully it doesn't... Hopefully it doesn't mess up anymore. And we got Gary up in here. This is Gary from the original Pokemon. Okay, I think there was a joke there and I didn't read it. I think I missed the joke. But we'll figure out what happens later on. I'll go back and look at it. Who knows? Could be a joke. Alright, alright. I'm going to time for you to take it. Okay, so we're getting a lot of experience in fighting like these uh, higher level fighting type Pokemon. And it seems like it's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, but we'll see how it, how what ends up happening. I don't know. We'll, we'll do. I really hope that we can just get through it. I really hope that we can just. Yeah, it seems like Gyarados can pretty much one shot. So I think a lot of fighting Pokemon have lower defense, anyways. Um, but we'll see. I'll count on you, Gyarados, to carry me through the entire thing here. You've carried me through the entire game mostly, anyways. But if you can carry me through the rest of the game, that'd be sweet, dude. That'd be sweet. 
All right. Here we go. Let's go ahead and use another max repel. There we go, mates. I'm gonna go up here and see if I can skip old Diane there. All right, Diane, you had your had your time. Hey, look, there's someone here. What Pokemon spawn here? Someone's looking for Pokemon. Uh, we got Sather here and Houndoom. Nothing I would see that I really, that I really like. I don't see anything. That's a weird patch of grass over there. Look at that. That is a patch of grass and a half right there. Look at that thing. It's like a different color. All right, here we go. Here we go. Time to make it. This should be the town where we're fighting the next gym. Yeah. This is the information booth, but I don't know what I'm going to look at the information booth for. And welcome to Veilstone City. This is the city where we're going to fight the new gym leader. Um, hopefully it's pretty cool. Officer Burt, tell us about the town. We used to have Team Galactic hiding out in this city, but I helped put a stop to it. All right, Burt. All right, Burt, man. That's pretty sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up, and then we're gonna take one tackle at the gym and see what goes see what goes down. Maybe we'll get it. Maybe we won't get it. I don't know. Um, I don't know what the first Pokemon is gonna be. We're we'll probably going to battle a couple of like trainer Pokemon before we can even fight the boss. Um, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. All right. So Tiffany, what do you gotta say to us now? La 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 la. Don't mind me. Just playing around. All right. It's whatever, man. It's whatever, dude. It's whatever. Do I have to fight everybody or can I skip there's some people in here? I don't, I don't know. Okay, I can skip two people. It looks like. Hopefully that's how it works. Hopefully that's how it works. What a fool! Medicham! Because this is, uh, this, this gym is set up pretty much like the, the, like the old, not really a gym, but it was like a fighting type thing. In the Kanto region back in the old Fire Red games, if you know what I'm talking about. That's how it's set up right now. Alright, so. As long as they don't lead with the ground Pokemon, or something with lightning rod ability, just anything that can stop Magnemites from paralyzing, we should be pretty good. We should all be good in the hood, you know. All right, Gyarados, dude, I'm gonna waste one of my Max or my Hyper Potions on you, dude. And you're not even at full health still. No. All right, so Breloom. Breloom could be a problem, but not really. I think we got this. We got this. Um, if Smurgle can do what he always does. And uh, get Gyarados set up. I know that Smurgle uses uh, Quiver Dance, which is a uh, it increases special attack, which Gyarados is not a special attacker at all. Um, he also we also use it to boost up everything else, so it would help Gyarados in the long run for sure. Either way, so Gyarados should be able to do this. Because that's where after I get done using all the Quiver Dances, I'm gonna see if Gyarados can stack on top of that with the Quiver Dances. Uh, but we'll see what happens here. We will see what the happens. Uh, yeah, I should definitely make sure Gyarados is at full health here. The super potion here, back out of that. Gyarados, you need to be at full health for this one. All right, so we did heal up, right? All right, we healed up, perfect. It's time for us to take on this gym leader for the first time. Maylene, let's see what you've got. Um, which Pokemon are we gonna send up first? Okay, this one's got Flash and Thunder Wave. This one's got Flash and Thunder Wave. So it doesn't really matter which one we send in first. Uh, I'm going to send in regular Magnemite first. And see if we can get this out of the way, man. I really hope this is going to work. Alright, so Smurgle is really weak to... Smurgle's really weak to fighting type Pokemon. So if he does get hit, Smurgle is out. Well, any, any Pokemon... Smurgle's going to hit any time he's going to be out. Uh, but hopefully that doesn't happen, you know. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But one thing that's supposed to help Smurgle that I've not been doing is, uh, like everybody's been saying, is the, uh, the whole, uh, what is it? The lagging tail thing, so it makes Smurgle faster than the rest of the Pokemon. And I do have a lagging tail in my bag here, right there, but, uh, I don't have a Pokemon that has Prankster yet to have that Sableye. Alright, so there we go, he gets the Drain Punch off. It's already put a Demaniton, so we get one Flash off at least. Crap, these accuracy was lowered. We'll go for one more flash if we can. We don't get it. Now, we're going to hope that Smurgle gets lucky here. And uh, that we can get something off. At least. At least one. At least we can get Substitute off. Come on. Can we get this off? Okay, he misses his attack. Thank God. So we got lucky with that one. Substitute's going to go in. Smurgle's going to be uh, alive for at least one more turn. Um, I think we should definitely go for the, the Quiver Dance here. See if we can get that. And Drain Punch misses again. Thank God. So we got Quiver Dance up. Um, that is one um, speed stat raise. So we're one speed higher than normal. Double team this time. 
I'm gonna go for double team to see if we can get that evasion raised. Crafty's paralyzed, perfect. So, all right, so we got one of each right now. We're gonna go for uh, six double teams here. This is number two. If we can get six of them, that's gonna be awesome. Okay, Scrappy misses again. We're doing, we're doing okay right now. Double team number three. Here we go. I always forget I gotta keep counting stuff, uh, but hopefully we can just get all the way. Double team number four. Number four, number four, number four. Don't forget, Scrappy's paralyzed. Good. Double team number five. Awesome. We're getting pretty lucky right now. Critical hits. Substitute faded. Super effective. Awesome. So substitute one more time. Smurgle, you substitute. The drain punch comes in. Substitute fainted. All right. So come on. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it here in a minute. Okay. We need one more. Um, we need one more. Um, whatever it is. Okay. You missed. Good. There we do. We need one more double team, and then we can start doing the quiver dances. Then we can get out of here, and uh, see if Gyarados can do this. If Gyarados doesn't do this, we'll see what happens. Okay, so quiver dance time. We got one quiver, well, two quiver dances now. We need four more, and then we can hit on out of here. All right, Scrafty misses. Perfect. Quiver dance again. Awesome. So the good thing about this is. Um, we can switch back in to Smurgle later if we can, but we don't have any Pokemon to paralyze. Okay, I think this is Quiver Dance number five. I don't, I don't know. Um, there we go. Substitute fainted. Awesome. So I'm gonna do one more Quiver Dance after the substitute, and then I'm gonna baton pass it into Gyarados and see what happens. So if Gyarados does get hit, well, he's not gonna get hit because of the baton pass. And the, the substitute and stuff. But uh, he's going to weaken Scrappy's attack. And he's also going to be resistant to uh, fighting type Pokemon because of his flying ability. Flying, not flying, but flying topping. So it's going to be awesome. So here we go. We're going to Baton Pass into Gyarados here. And um, I wish I had a Dragon Dance Smurgle for this kind of a, for this occasion. I need to get one of those set up. That'd be cool. Okay, drag, uh, the Drain Punch misses. Um, let's see if we can get a Dragon Dance set up now. Can you put Dragon Dance on top of all that stuff? So there we go. Yeah, we can. Um, I'm, I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. So once the substitute fades, I'm gonna go and Gyarados is gonna go into attack mode, um, I guess. So there we go. Keep going the Dragon Dance. Attack was raised. Speed is maxed out already. All right, scrap to use Thunder Punch. It missed. So it th Thunder Punch was pretty, pretty impressive there. Okay, Gyarados' attack was raised. Speed cannot be raised any further. Thunder Punch goes in there. Scrap to misses again. We're gonna go for another Dragon Dance here. Okay, Gyarados' attack was raised. Scrappy used Thunder Punch. Scrappy missed. I don't know if how many Dragon Dance we used. I've lost count, but I'm gonna go again. Okay, and there we go. I think that was the last one. I'm gonna go ahead and start attacking now. Um, Gyarados, dude, you still got your substitute set up too, so hopefully you can just go through this and destroy. All right, so there we go. Scrafty is out now. Scrafty is out of play. All right, Toxicroak's coming in. We're gonna go for the Earthquake here. Toxicroak's out of the play. That's two Pokemon down. Four to go. All right, come on, Gyarados. Let's see if you can finish it up, boy. Conkledor was giving us trouble in the past, but today he is not giving us any trouble because Waterfall is going to knock him out. There we go. Infernape is here, and Infernape says bye-bye. All right, that's four Pokemon out of the way. We got two more Pokemon left. Let's see what we got up here for us to play against. We got a Machamp for us, and we're going to go for the Waterfall here. Machamp goes bye-bye again. And uh, we got the last Pokemon now, and that is going to be Mega Lucario with this cool model. It's 3D and it's moving and stuff, and we're going to go for our Earthquake here. And we're going to knock out uh, Lucario, and uh, we ended up defeating the Gym Leader on our first try. Alright, so there we go. Maylene, you have been defeated, guys. This has been a video. This has been a real video going up against the Gym Leader on the first try and defeating her. Which the gyms in this in this region are too hard. That's gym badge number three. I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Subscribe, leave a like. Thanks for watching.